everybody, Cindy Coggins with Cindy Coggins Realty Group, Keller Williams Allen. How are you guys doing this evening? We're coming to you live. We want to talk a little bit uh, this evening about uh, renting versus buying a home. Uh, we're going to wait, let a few people pop on, and then we're going to talk a little bit about everything. If you have any questions or comments, uh, would love to see those in the chat box. Uh, give us a wave. Let us know you're there. Love to hear from everyone. So, hi Rick, how are you? Barry, good to have you. So, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit about renting uh, versus home buying. And I know that's kind of a hot topic right now in the real estate market. It's strictly for the fact of the COVID-19 and a lot of folks that rent, um, it's going to make a big difference for them, uh, whether they're staying in a group in an apartment type setting or whether they're going to actually move out into their own home. So with that said, um, there's a couple of things I'm going to share with you first while we're waiting for a few more to join us, and I know we're kind of getting started late this evening would love for you to private message me your name and phone number. We're gonna give a $50 Brio card at the end of the week on Friday evening. We're gonna do a live drawing. So again, make sure you're putting your name and phone number, send it to me in a private message, not on this chat, and uh, we're gonna give that card away Friday. So anyways, just uh, a little bit of information so when we're talking about renting versus purchasing a home and why you should purchase a home or may be interested in purchasing a home is basically if you look at it from a five-year standpoint and i'm going to use some really really low numbers right now if you're renting and you're paying 1150 dollars a month okay for your rent in an apartment usually you're going to see over a five-year time there's going to be an estimated three percent increase in that so that's going to bump your your uh rental up to one thousand two hundred and twenty one dollars a month so you get no tax deductions with renting a place like you would in purchasing and the amount of money that you have actually lost over a five-year period at $1,150 a month that jumps to $1,220 a month is around $73,000 to $74,000, okay? And that's over a five-year period. And then you've built no equity at all. So basically, you started off at $1,150 a month, then you went up to $1,221 a month, then you're not seeing your tax deductions, so why would you want to purchase? Well, first and foremost, you have the ability to earn equity, to make money, to reap tax benefits, build your wealth, be more stable and secure. And you may ask, okay, well, how do those things work? Well, basically, if you have a starting mortgage, which I, you know, depending on the price of home, like I said, we're going to keep some numbers low just for mathematical sake. So say we take that same amount that we were paying in rent, the $1,150 a month, you're not gonna have that added increase every year on your payment, okay? So that 3% that you were seeing the increases while you're leasing or renting, you're not gonna have that in your monthly payment when you're purchasing a home during that five-year period. So on average, uh, the mortgage is going to still be $1,150. You're going to get tax deductions. So here in the state of Texas, we have property tax deductions as well. Then you're going to have personal tax deductions off your interest. And the property taxes, you get to claim homestead exemption. So basically, over that five-year period, you've not lost money on that. You have gained equity in, in the amount of around $66,000 uh, to $68,000, <clears> and like I said, that is with very low amount comparing an $1,150 uh, rental compared to a mortgage that starts at $1,150. I don't know if that kind of answers some of the questions that we had been having earlier, but 
you do have the ability to be more stable and secure. You will feel more safe and secure in a home versus an apartment if you want to add additional security features that you may not be able to put into an apartment. So again, you're going to reap those tax benefits. Um, you may be eligible for tax exemptions such as mortgage interest, property taxes, and other closing related expenses. You're going to build your wealth because you're building equity. And as you pay down your mortgage, you build equity into your home over time. And so the value of your home goes up and that builds you wealth. So that's just a little bit of information. So you're getting more bang for your buck of the money that you're putting out over a five-year term. Again, that's five years of renting versus five years of purchasing. Five years of renting at $1,150 a month in the very beginning is going to end up, you're going to lose about $73,266. That's a lot of money when you could have gained $66,879 and then you've got that equity in your home. So I would love to answer any questions that you guys have that is related to real estate, whether you're looking to buy next month, next year, a couple of years from now, would love to put you uh, on a search. We can hone down your neighborhood that you want to look at. If you're looking at selling, is it the right time? Is it not the right time to make a purchase of a home? Give me a call at 469 four nine nine seven four five two would love to go over the pros and cons of purchasing right now um, again we are giving away a fifty dollar brio gift card at the end of the week on friday make sure that you are putting your name in a private message and your phone number to me and you will be entered to uh, possibly win that brio gift card so looking forward to talking to you soon if you have any questions Give me a shout if you're planning on staying put, not buying or selling, and you need vendors like HVAC, plumbers, electricians, landscapers, hang on to my phone number. I've got a fantastic list of vendors. Uh, again, you can give me a call or text me at 469-499-7452. We're here for all your real estate needs, and we are considered a great source of referrals. Hey, Carrie Cook. How are you? It's good to see you. Hey, Jason, Justin, it's good to see you. <laughs> I love seeing everybody. I'm, I, Carrie, I miss you too. <laughs> I miss seeing your sweet face. So uh, those are just some of the tips about uh, renting versus purchasing a home. Uh, now is a really good time to start your search. It's time to get pre-qualified if you're looking to purchase a home. If you're looking at selling a home, now would be a perfect time to prepare to sell. Uh, give me a shout. Again, it's 469-499-7452. Send me your name and phone number. Put it in a private text message, not on the chat here, and we're going to enter you to, uh, to our drawing on Friday evening. All right, we'll talk to you with it later this week. Bye-bye.